Have you ever really, really wanted a Trigicon SRO, but you also really, really wanted to keep $300 in your pocket? If so, the Gideon Optics Omega has you covered. I'm David, and this is the Gideon Optics Omega. So real quickly, I got a couple disclosures for you going on here. This is a sample that was sent to me for video purposes. No money changed hands or anything like that. I will shoot you straight on it. I have no financial incentive to try and sell this thing. Number two is I don't have a ton of rounds on this. Now the round count on this particular site is north of 500, but it is south of 1,000. I don't really know where we are in the scheme. I don't keep good logs on this kind of stuff because this is bro science, this is not real science. But generally speaking, if an optic is going to fail, it will fail within the first 500 rounds on the pistol. And if it makes it past that, it's usually good for tens of thousands before it decides to quit. But also, I understand that there are some dads in the crowd, and if I could give you a crisp high five, I would. But allow me to give you this instead. How do you organize a space party? You plan it. So let's talk about the optic. First and foremost, this is not for my guys who are tactical. If you see, it's got that cantilevered lens that hangs out at the front of the optic outside of the optic body. That means that this thing is not designed to take shock and pass it down into the op optic body into the pistol. So if you were planning on, you know, fence post punching or rolling around on the range with your buddies on the weekend, there are probably better options for you. If you want to pretend like you're a sponsored shooter and look like a bass fisherman or hunt cardboard, then this is going to have you covered. That is what this dot is for. The overall dimensions and how the dot is set up on the pistol is very much like a Trigicon SRO. Uh, the buttons are a little bit different with them both being on one side. It only comes in a three MOA dot, both red or green, and then there is a multi-reticle option as well. So they don't have larger reticles, which is a little bit of a downer as somebody who likes a six MOA or bigger, but a three MOA is better than a two. So I'll, I'll take that as a win. The glass on the dot has a minty green sort of notch filter, and it has a little bit of distortion because the lens is a mangan lens. That's the technical term for why it does that, but the Trigicarna SRO does that as well, and it's twice as expensive, and it's got the same style of lens. The reticle to my eye is pretty clean and pretty crisp, as long as I don't like blow it out by getting it too bright, but I can get it like really bright to the point where it's like magnifying smudges on the window and stuff like that, like reflecting light off that before it starts to distort. So it actually is, you know, a pretty good emitter. The brightness is great. I've shot it on a couple different early spring Texas days, and it had no problem keeping up with the brightness outside. The turrets do have a tactile click on both the up and the right, but the um, screwdriver you have to use, it's got like a fine jeweler's tip screwdriver you'll need. It comes with one in the box. Don't lose that sucker because there's a good chance your pocket knife will not fit in that. And the jeweler's screwdriver I have in my range bag didn't fit. So keep that stupid little thing. The housing is made out of 7075 aluminum, which is the good spec of aluminum that you want on a weapon site. So that is all to the good. That's what the high dollar sites are made out of as well. Now, the price is kind of the nice thing about this optic. It is available for sale on their website at about $230, but if you look on Amazon or um, Optics Planet or anything like that, it's you know a sub $200 site. So it is a cool option if you want that kind of round piece of glass that looks very much like an SRO. It's got you covered in that regard. Oh, and by the way, the other day I, I was noticing that in Minecraft, there's a planet on which optics grow and I was able to decode their language. The H-U-M-B actually means 7%, so there you go. I help the fellow gamers out there. I guess there's one thing I don't like. It does have a Torx bit required to open the battery door on the top to change the battery, which is kind of annoying, but it's the same size Torx bit, a T10 bit that you know mounts the optic to the top of the slide, so it's not so bad. If you want to check out a review on the Bull Tomahawk that I have on here, it's got ports on the top of the barrel. That's the way it comes from the factory, YouTube. Chill out. It's a pretty awesome gun, and you can see that here.